What is a pendulum in physics? A pendulum consists of a hanging mass attached to a string from a fixed point, free to swing back and forth. Now, this pendulum is swinging back and forth. It is being released at an angle and is going from A to B back and forth. Now, the time it takes for a pendulum to swing back and forth once is called period. To determine the period of this pendulum, which is an animation, let's take the time in seconds this hanging mass goes from A to B and back to A. To be precise, let's count this event 10 times using a stopwatch. So go with me. Let's start here. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then, and we stop. Now we have approximately 28 seconds. So 10 times 10 swings is a total of almost 28 seconds. Now to find the time for one swing, we need to divide 28 seconds by 10. And now we have the time for a single swing. This is the period. So the period of this pendulum is 2.8 seconds. Let us consider this. If I change the hanging mass, this one, make it lighter or heavier, would the time of a complete swing be still 2.8 seconds? What about if I change the angle of release? Would the height at which the pendulum is released could be here or a little bit higher? Uh, we'll change this time of 2.8 seconds. What if I change the length of this string, making longer or shorter? Would the time be the same? What are your thoughts about all this? So let's do a lab investigation to find out which factor would affect this period. Now, this period here, this time, is for that animation. The one that you are going to do in your lab is a, um, is a real one. So this is just a reference for you see how this work. The strategy that you are going to use to count 10 times and divide it by 10. So that's the same strategy that you are going to use in your lab. So this video is about the period of a pendulum lab investigation. For lab objectives, we have three. The first one, you are going to construct a simple pendulum. The second one, you are going to measure the period of this pendulum. And the third one, you are going to investigate the physical factors of a pendulum that affect its period. The materials that you need for this lab are a lab stand, a ring clamp, three washers with the same mass, a ruler in centimeters, a stopwatch, a scissor, a protractor, and about 50 centimeters of string. First, you need to set up the pendulum according to this picture. And I'm going to give you some helpful hints. The first one, leave some extra string around the washer 
to add to later. Align the string with the lab stand rod to give you a reference when counting the swings. It's also very helpful when you place the protractor right, o right over the string at the top. Do not cut the string yet. Make sure the pendulum swings side to side, not elliptical. Side to side. Consider 5% computation error due to air friction, stopwatch reaction time, angle, and length readings. Let's go for our first prediction. 3, 2, 1, recording. Prediction 1. If you pull the pendulum at different angles, Will the period of the pendulum increase, decrease, or stay the same? Now, let me go with the procedure. Use a protractor, pull out the pendulum to 20 degrees from the vertical reference line. So this is the vertical reference line, zero degrees. This is 10, this is 20. Have your lab partner carefully time how long it takes for the pendulum to swing back and forth 10 times. So in this table that you have 20 degrees, you have a trial one. So you are gonna count 10 swings and then you are going to repeat and do a second trial with the same thing. You are gonna count 10 times. So here's a picture of a student how you are going to pull the pendulum with the right angle according to this table and release this, thing, this pendulum and you start to count the swings. Then when you have both trials, we have complete both trials, average both and you need to now divide it by 10 and record your result in the period column. So here is the final time for 20 degrees. You are going to repeat the same thing for 40 degrees and 60 degrees and observe what happened to your time as you increase the angle of release. Uh, do you observe the time remains the same? Is increasing with the increase of angle or decreasing. Now let's go to our second prediction. If you make the pendulum heavier by attaching extra washers, will the period of the pendulum increase, decrease, or stay the same? Okay, so for this procedure, you are going to keep constant the angle of release and the length of the pendulum. So you're gonna use a protractor and you're gonna pull out the pendulum to six degrees from the vertical like you did prior uh, in the prior procedure. Then you're gonna have your lab partner carefully time how long it takes for the pendulum to swing back and forth 10 times. You are going to repeat the trial. You are going to average, which means you're gonna add it, divide by two. And then you divide the result by 10. You are going to repeat the same procedure for two and then three washers. Okay, so let's go now for the last prediction. If you decrease the length of the pendulum by shortening the string, will the period of the pendulum increase, decrease, or stay the same? As for procedure, you are going to use just one washer. Make sure the string has 30 centimeters length from the fixed point right on the ring clamp up to the washer, but do not include the washer. Then raise the pendulum up to six degrees. Release the pendulum and record the time of 10 swings, just like you did previously.
and then you repeat the trial. You average both trials, and then you divide the average by 10 and record your result in the period column. So in this case, you are going to keep constant the angle of release, which is 60 degrees, and you are going to keep constant the hanging mass, which will be just one washer. A good scientific experiment. We change one variable at a time and we keep the others constant. In this case, the hanging mass, just one washer, and the angle of release, which is 60 degrees, remain constant the entire experiment. The only variable that we are changing is the length of the string. We start with 30 and then 20 and finally 10. And then we have two trials. We average these trials and the result you divide by 10. So then you have the period for each length for this pendulum. For final question, based on your experimental results, which physical factor or physical factors of a pendulum affect its period? Is the angle of release more or less hanging mass? Or is the string length? So by now, by looking the results on your table, you should verify which factor or factors affect the period of this pendulum.